member was spotted and then shot down above the United States a few days ago. Uh, a media report has now alleged that China had operated a fleet of sp such spy balloons, but one of those spy balloons has even targeted India and countries like Japan. This is according to a media report, remember. Now, we'll bring you more context on this. US officials have just briefed uh, countries that consider themselves allies of the uh, country including India. Now, what the United States has said is that the Chinese surveillance balloon was shot down by a fighter jet off the coast of South Carolina in the Atlantic Ocean on Saturday. On Monday, Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman had briefed officials for about 40 embassies about it. Let's go over to my colleague Siddhant, who's been bringing us uh, momentary updates on this entire story. Let's go over to him for more context. Uh, Siddhant, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on CNN News 18. Siddhant, I just want to come to you for context. These latest revelations that it is uh, possible that a Chinese balloon, a surveillance balloon actually entered India, Japan and a number of other countries too. Uh, could you tell us what sources we have for this? Is this largely based on a media report? And then what has the media report quoted as its sources and what time frame was this between? Well, look, at least Americans are saying this. And uh, since Americans are saying this, so uh, it has been published in some section of media in, in America that 40 embassies, uh, officials from 40 embassies have been briefed regarding this uh, new uh, threat uh, to, to countries. Uh, uh, and in fact, uh, the ambassadors have been briefed, the diplomats have been briefed that China has a fleet of such balloons to gather crucial and sensitive military information to gather, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, to gather coordinates of key security installations. And in fact, uh, uh, the report also says that uh, that such balloon has been sent to, China, uh, to Japan and India in the past as well by China. So look, uh, on one end where America has has made this entire uh, balloon fiasco an issue, international issue, and America wants other countries also to come on board against this new Chinese threat. On the other end, uh, the diplomatic relations between America and China are seeing uh, the new low. Because in fact, uh, this morning only we have reported that uh, uh, that defense secretary, U.S. defense secretary, wanted to speak to his counterpart in Beijing, but the call was denied. And in fact, uh, China refused uh, 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 the telephonic conversation with uh, the uh, with the U.S. defense secretary. So you know, uh, uh, so on one end, aware U.S. is making the world aware about this new threat, and in fact, uh, the intelligence has also been shared with the other countries. The uh, diplomats have been briefed. Uh, about this new threat, and uh, more than 40 countries have been taken in loop, including India and uh, including Japan and uh, Japan and India. But at the same time, uh, the relations between the two countries have uh, uh, have uh, the, uh, the tensions have increased. Also, uh, you know, uh, I would also like to refer to one other report which was published in US a few days back that in US itself, such balloons were sent twice before this. Uh, and U.S. air defense system couldn't spot those balloons. So this was also one report uh, uh, which was published in, 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 in American newspapers. So it is a new threat, new challenge for not just U.S., but also uh, uh, the countries uh, which are not having very good relations with, uh, with China, okay. uh, including India, Taiwan, that if such balloons will be sent by China, how to counter them? And do do we really have such techniques, mechanism to shoot it down? Because even U.S. took uh, five days to shoot down the balloon. So does India, uh, it's countries like India, Taiwan... Sidhan, stay with uh, us for a second, please. Major General A.K. Sivach is also with us. He's a defense expert. Uh, Major General, thank you for being with us here on the phone. Sir, I want to understand from you. Uh, there are reports coming in right now. All right, uh, sir, just stay with us. I'm so sorry. We do have to shift focus very quickly to...